Hi there, we wanted to give you a quick look at the upcoming lighting workflow we have in the beta of Unity 5. First off, let's throw a plane into our scene as a ground. I'm just going to scale this up a little. Next we have this Viking house asset that we want to include. We saved this as a prefab. So I can just drop this in. You'll notice that by default new scenes have a procedural sky providing ambient light, which along with the directional light illuminates our scene. Also note that as soon as we add our static model, Unity begins pre-computing our lighting in the background. You'll see this in the progress bar in the lower right of the screen. Now if we disable the directional light, you'll notice the ambient light's contribution to the scene. You can see this around the darker areas at the bottom of the house here for example. Now let's see how this looks with a real skybox and the effect that it has on the scene. You can see how different the environment looks thanks to the ambient light and colour that we're getting from the sky. Now in our skybox material, we can adjust things like exposure to tweak that contribution that the ambient light is making. If for example we remove all the ambient exposure of the sky and re-enable our directional light, now we can see that the bounce from the directional light is more visible. And we can adjust this bounce intensity on the light itself to play with the effects some more. Let's take a look at this effect further by adding a material. We'll go ahead and create one. And assign it to our plane. You can see that if I change the diffuse to a color and increase the bounce intensity on the directional light, we're getting that effect very strongly. Obviously we don't want a hot pink for this, so I'm gonna change that back to white and bring my bounce intensity back down. Next, we'll add a reflection probe to the scene to set up reflections for our environment. We'll place this just in front of the house and expand its volume to encompass our entire scene. Now let's bring back our skybox ambient light. We'll bring the exposure back up to one. And now what we could do is go back to our directional light and tweak the bounce intensity and the intensity of the light itself to affect our house. But what we have looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and work on the material for our ground plane. First, let's texture the material. We're using the new standard physically based shader in Unity 5. So we'll assign our wet mud diffuse and normal maps to the shader in order to enable them. Now let's increase the specular value from a dark gray to a lighter gray to give a wet feel to the ground. To really show this off, let's bring the smoothness up to a value of one. Maybe one is a little extreme. Let's bring this back to around 0.75. Next we'll add the specular texture Now we can see that if we look at these puddles, we've got this gorgeous glow from the sky shining off them, whilst the mud remains, well, muddy. So all this looks great and will work on desktop, console, high-end mobile, but if we're targeting lower performance devices, we can use static light maps to store our lighting instead of this dynamic lighting that we're currently showing off. So the light mapping setting on your lights will allow you to switch between dynamic and baked lighting. It's currently set to dynamic GI, so let's flip it to static GI, and you'll see that Unity starts to bake this as shown in the progress bar in the lower right corner of the screen. So in static GI mode, Unity will rebake the lighting for static objects each time you make a change to the scene, and it'll only rebake necessary data in the background, which will save you that valuable iteration time. So as we move this light around rotating it, Unity is dynamically previewing it, and then as soon as we stop adjusting, the rebake reoccurs in the background. 
So as you work in Unity in this way, you'll be able to make use of a mix of dynamic and baked lighting in order to balance performance and high quality visuals. And remember, this is all without hitting a bake button, so you can constantly iterate on your ideas. That's all for now. Keep your eyes on the Unity blog for more soon about Unity 5. Thanks for watching.